we teach men the first four steps of MOA. First one is to fix your Instagram. Second one is to build a list. Usually about 2000 female influencers you want to come to your events and maybe 200 guys that you want uh, to come like all the guys I want to come on my podcast are on my list. Uh, and then once you do that, the step third step is to get open threads on Instagram DM with as many girls as possible, even if they're not coming to your event. And then the fourth step is to find six female friends to go with these with you to these events. And so like I, I've, I've done this several times when Ty would have a, a speech somewhere, I would show up with like six girls or something like that. Or when Bradley or no Bradley, when uh, uh, Dan Fleischman would have an event, I would show up with a bunch of girls to his event. And the reason why it wasn't because I was trying to show off. It's just it's just more interesting. The girls have more fun. A lot of times the girls want to learn what's going on there. And then other girls will come up and talk to you. So it's a uh, but it's, it's just, also to show off. It, I mean, <laughs> it, it, it ended up being that. Yeah, it ends but up it has that. to be because why, why else would you do it? Even though, yeah, it's more fun for me, too. But well, but you're going to say, look at the influence I have. Yes. And not only that, when someone sees. Because again, I mean, you you see pretty girls, but like yours, the the group you hang around almost seem look they almost look like Playboy yeah. girls. Yeah. Like okay. in other words, they're not just cute yeah. girls; they're like la la yeah. girls. Uh, well, the thing is, from my standpoint, it helps with the business because one of the things is a lot of guys join my, uh, at Men of Action because they they're only looking for help with dating, and then I we show them things that they're also lacking in their life, especially when it comes to body fat percentage, nutrition. When it comes to um, let's talk about that for a minute. Yeah, body fat. Because mm -hmm. I know when, when I'm listening to your podcast, and guys, before I forget, Michael Sartain podcast, you can go find that. Yeah. And of course, as he's talking about, he started a group. He's the founder of Men of Action, which is basically, you know, you're you're teaching guys how to, you know, be studs and and attract women and not be so odd in yeah. in social settings. Socially calibrated, really good leaders, great communicators, and completely understanding of the opposite sex. Yeah. How come you've never had me speak there? I'm like the prime. Oh, I will. Uh, you know what? Next time we when we do summit, 100. percent Summit's. But I would have day. to. But I would have to think because if you said, Brad, how how did you do it? Because I don't do it anymore. Yeah. I don't know, but I know that I I would assume that confidence had something to do with sure. it. Sure. Humor had something to do with it, and the fact that I'm pretty good looking had something to do with it. Because if you can teach an ugly fella how to get Which a lot of girls. Yeah. That's some shit to figure out because yeah. like, dude, I'd walk in sometimes and if, you know, I would get girls coming up to me because you know, they thought I was cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, they would tell me, you know, yeah. after you get them, you know, you can say, well, what, what attracted you? You know, oh, you're fucking gorgeous. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, but, <laughs> but that's why I got them. It yeah. wasn't because I said something. It wasn't because of some psychological thing I did. It was just because they wanted me because they thought I was good looking. But Brad, you also didn't do anything to screw it up. That's the big part. In fact, that's probably more than half my well, job. In most cases, because yeah. a lot of times I did. You would screw it up. But eventually you get better. You start to learn, okay, this is where I'm screwing up. And you also probably, I'm curious if you think this, because I've had discussions with several people in my podcast about this. The highest level of sales and the highest level of talking to women have a lot of commonalities. Yes. Uh, the concept of like eliminating neediness, frame control. These are things that you do. Orrin Claff, when he wrote, writes Leading the, book, the witness. Exactly. When, well, Orrin Claff, when he writes a uh, pitch anything, or if you listen to, uh, or uh, read a hundred million dollar offer by Alex Ramosi and you take those concepts and just put them in dating. They fit one-to-one. -one. There's a perfect correlation because it's what, um, what's it? Jordan Belfort calls it persuasion, communication, or, uh, object. Uh, I can't forget exactly the term he uses, but when you talk like that, it works in sales and it also works when talking the opposite sex. I'm looking for five men who want to learn how to level up their social circle and attract high quality women using nothing but your IG in five days. If this is you, hit the link below.